Hey guys, today on Tackle Shop Talk, I'm going to be unboxing a swim bait reel, a swim bait rod, two swim baits, and I'm going to be talking about a bait, and I'm going to be going over some fishing line. So, in the last video, I was talking about like a bait of the day, and my friend, he did do a jerk bait on that last bait, and I'm going to be reviewing a jerk bait too. I know it's kind of repetitive or whatever, but I'm going to be doing a jerk bait too. Only because of the price on it. So this was, I, I don't even know the name. It's, it's a Japanese lure. It's a jerkbait. It looks pretty fine. And the thing about it, I mean, it looks normal and stuff. Everything's in, like, Japanese, I believe. And the reason why I'm reviewing it is because it was 25 cents. And I don't know where you can get it, where you can get it from for this price. But it's just kind of like a reminder. Look at your Japanese, what's it called, a Japanese like thrift store because you might, five tw you might find 25 cent lures that actually work and I'm going to open it up real quick. Oh. That was kind of hard. So it's got two treble hooks and it's kind of long. I'm going to bait these long, we'll have like three. It's got kind of a cool color, like a gold, gold, like, whitish color on the bottom. It feels literally like a normal jerk bait. It's got, it's got beads in it. The hooks look really sharp. You can't really see it filming off my phone, but the hooks look really good compared to like a Strike King jerk bait. Doesn't even look bad. Anyways, just look at your Japanese thrift stores because you might find something. Swim good. bait set up so I got a whole new swim bait set up and it was supposed to come Tuesday to make the video and then it got delayed to Thursday and then now it's Friday I'm making this so I'm gonna go over I got a swim bait reel swim bait rod two two swim baits and then some line I guess we'll start it off with some line because this is just the line that I'm using for it 50 pound power pro moss green color a lot of people on the swim baits I'm not much of a swim bait fisherman that's why it's kind of like a new combo but a lot of swim bait fishermen they'll use 20 pound 25 pound to maybe 30 pound like mono or fluoro but since I'm 15 I'm in ninth grade I don't even know when I can get like another one of these swim baits so I'm gonna go 50 pound braid and make sure I'm not gonna be breaking off on any swim baits Gotta ensure that. Nothing special. 50 pound braid. And then the baits. The baits I have, these are the Mega Bass Mag Draft baits. Now these are some of the best swim baits you can get considering the price for them. You can find a ton of reviews on them just everywhere. These are some of the best baits you can get. Now I already have one. They're 10 inch. They're both 10 inch. I'm going to be throwing heavy swim baits. They're six and like a quarter ounce. They're pretty big. And I am going to be getting some footage of it in my pool of me using the bait to show how it looks. I mean, I am filming off my phone, but I'm going to try and give a good, good like representation of how it swims in the water. It is pretty cool. I can't remember the color of it. Maybe like silverback shad, this one. Now this one, this one I got fresh out the box for the video. And the color on this one. Let's see what the color is. I forgot the color. Oh, kind of just ripped it. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Ten in, yeah, it's a 10 inch bait, six and a quarter ounce. I don't even see the color, but it's like a trout, rainbow trout color, kind of. Um, they don't have all their colors in stock on Tackle Warehouse. I got this all on Tackle Warehouse, by the way. They don't have this all in stock, but they got a lot of good colors in stock, so this is a pretty solid cutter. color. Fresh out the box, really slick. I saw someone smell theirs one time when they first got it out, um, and it does smell very rubbery, like he said. The hook. So it comes with one big hook, and there's a magnet in it, if you can see. it's like This is kind of like more of a clear one. The hook keeps up in the body. 
it'll stay up in that body and it'll stay by the magnet until the fish grabs it, pulls it out, tie on the leader there. It's really nice. I really like it. I feel like it'll catch some fish. And by the way, just a fair warning, I'm not much of a swim bait fisherman or anything. So if I do say something wrong, don't be afraid to correct me because I am not much of a swim bait fisherman. But if you do want a lot of swim bait like knowledge and that kind of stuff, I recommend watching Weston Smith. I don't know a lot of swim bait YouTubers, but Weston Smith is, he, d he does a lot of swim bait fishing. He normally uses like Shimano tranks and stuff for swim bait fishing. I don't know if he goes this big on some of them, but he does use some big baits. He goes over pretty much all size of swim baits too, so I recommend watching him if you want actual facts and tips and stuff. Now for the reel. The reel is a Shimano Cardiff 300A. Now I would have preferred to get left handed because I'm right handed. I would have preferred to get a left hand retrieve. But I was pretty impatient about it. I was pretty impatient so I decided to get the right handed because that's all they had in stock. Open and three see this is going to be the main reel I use for swim bait fishing. This is what I'm going to use with these two baits. And I do save my Shimano reel boxes, so just add in another box to the collection. So it comes with a manual, nothing special. I'm gonna have to put that in the box, hold on to it for sure. Oh, also, I'm the tackle warehouse thing. Since my order was over $150, comes with a sticker. Um, yeah, nothing special in there. Now for the reel. It is a round reel. I know round reels are kind of ugly looking, especially for bass fishing. I mean, who wants to carry this around? But this is going to be good for bass fishing. Now, I've never even had a round reel. Seems pretty much just like a bait caster, but just round. Going to have to figure this out. This is the tension knob right here. Yep. I don't know where the drag is. Oh, yeah, duh, this. This thing right here. It is kind of dusty. A little dusty coming out the box. Just fine, but. I don't know, it's kind of weird. This thing is like, you can kind of hear it's like shaking. I don't know. It's supposed to be like that. I think it's fine. It's kind of hard to push down, but maybe it's like that because it's more of a heavy duty reel. Feels pretty smoothly, like a normal bait caster, basically. I mean, this is going to be good for 10 ounce baits, 8 ounce, 9 ounce, 7 ounce, 6 ounce, 5 ounce, 4 ounce, pretty much that range. Maybe even lighter. I don't know. I've never really used it, so I can't really say, but I'm just going based off comments and, and reviews and stuff. Um, let's see. Anything else that comes in the box? It comes with this. Guessing to replace things inside of it or tighten. I don't know. I'm not too much of a You know this stuff, but Pretty cool. This is what I'm gonna be using for my swim baits uh, I'll set this up in a minute and then I will show the footage of me using it in the pool I'll probably fish with it sometime. Yeah, look like on the handles. It is kind of dusty Probably will fish with it sometimes. I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to catch a fish on a swim bait might take a while, but I will keep trying with it. And I will show the first swim bait fish I get on it, even though it might take a while. Now here we got the rod from Tackle Warehouse. How's the Tackle Warehouse packaging? This is actually really heavy. Since it's an eight foot, I'm guess it's packed with a lot of stuff to keep it protected. It's eight foot dive with swim bait rod. I'm about to get it out the box. Um, I'm trying to see how much it weighs because this package is heavy, eight pounds. Feels heavier than that. Yeah, it is pretty big. It's like the thing that dude was that dude was using in Finland Saga when he was fighting Thorfinn. Um, all right, I'm about to open it up. So what we got here is a Daiwa eight foot, extra heavy, ex extra fast. Um, swim bait casting. It's full cork grip. It's not like the split cork grip. It's full grip. Uh, it's super nice. I mean, look how sweet it is finished matte black um eight foot like i said 
Yep, it says it on here. Three, it's rated for three to ten ounce baits. Which I'm gonna be throwing six, so it's right in the middle. Perfect, basically. Um, yeah, this is super sweet. It was a hundred dollars. Oh yeah, um, the these baits were thirty bucks a piece. This was one thirty, and then this rod was a hundred dollars. Um, I mean. It's just super nice. Um, the only thing about it is this hook keeper on it. The hook keeper on it, it's for swim baits, but these hooks don't fit in that. I don't think, I don't think these hooks, hold on. I don't know if these hooks will fit on that, which is fine, because I can just hook the bait onto the reel. Oh my gosh, my hands are shaking. I mean, it fits on there. A little tight fit, but... I mean, it'll fit, so I guess that's fine. I mean, eight foot, extra heavy, extra fast. It's got some real, real, like, strong backbone to it. Like, you can use this for probably frogging, big old jigs, flipping, punching. I mean, yeah, it's got, like, the matte black finish on the handle, too. It's, like, smooth. Got the Daiwa logo. That, that's just on the wrapping. I mean, there ain't much, much more than that. I'm gonna get it set up now, and then I'm gonna take it out. Wow, not a great cast. All right, this is just slow, slowly retrieving it. Doesn't give too much motion. It's got more of like a tight wake. It does give like a big wake when you do put a little speed on it on the end of the paddle tail. Not trying to snag it on nothing in the pool. Um, I'm gonna burn it real quick. This is going fast. Gives a big wake with its tail. It's a very good bait, especially for its price. The hook kind of came out. I might be hooking it into the bait wrong. Yeah, it kind of came out. It's six ounces, like I said, so you can cast it pretty far. This is just twitching it a little. Give it a little action. Feels really good on the rod. It really does nosedive a little. Maybe it's because of the braid, even though the braid does float. Look at it, it is nosediving right now. It's acting a little weird. But yeah, that's about it, guys.